Hi traders, I just made over $7,000 day trading stocks in less than one hour. Let me show you how. Cake, Cheesecake Factory is down 10%. I always like to see them getting down. Uh, the more the better. And Cake is dramatically down today. And it's the first one minute candle. So what you're seeing now is the stock getting down, pulling back up, which is great, which removes the buyers hopefully once it reverses so I'm waiting for the reversal here and if I'm going to see a valid reversal I'm going to go short and it looks like it's getting close there I'd like to short it somewhere around here okay I'm short 4000 shares second one minute candle it's very very risky I need to see it coming under the lows 49.39 it's not there yet and it's a bit spready But, um, okay, it's getting close now. Okay, at the lows. Look at the buyers at 40. Always you can find some buyers that go, okay, okay. Finally, went through. Good, great. I want to see some more. I shorted it at 49.53. I have 30 cents, 40 cents, 50 cents. Any pullback now? <laughs> oh, she's going. Well, oh, that's the first pullback. Got my partial. Nice trade to start my day. $1,400. Watching HBI. Stock is down almost 12%. It's only moving higher, which is kind of good because, again, I want to see the buyers moving out of the game. And then at the sign of the first reversal short it. A little bit worried about uh, the fact that it's just uptrending, but it has a lot of volume as you can see here, 2 million shares, plus it's down 11%. So usually a stock that is down 11% doesn't really have much of a choice. And it's getting there now. That's the first pullback. These are one minute candles. Trying to find a point where I think is of no return. Watching the buyers and the sellers. Watch the sellers pushing down at 49 here. We have much more sellers than buyers. As you can see in 49 compared to 48. Therefore, it should come down now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Now I'm a little late. Okay. I got it at 30 something. 1932. That's a good entry. You could see the sellers really pushing down. I'm short. Watching Akamai here. This $71 looks like um, a good reversal point. And again, the stock is gapped down something like 6%. Try to move higher. Just recently, tried to move higher. You see that red candle here? It was at the highs, got rejected again. If it's going to come down under 71, it's probably going to come down now. So, the stock that is trying and trying and trying to move higher and finally failing, I don't see the failure yet, is bound to continue lower. Okay, it's getting close to the $71 mark. And I'm getting ready to short. Just above the 70. Getting ready to short. Shorting now at 71.03 because I feel like it's just about to break down. Was I right or was I wrong? Akamai did well, did come down. And now I'm shorting another 2,000 shares. If you take a good look at the technical pattern here, it's trying to move higher, I've tried to move higher several times, but failed. I think it has a long way down. Akamai did great. Akamai really did great. You remember that $71 mark, now it's at 70 just bounced. I'm taking my partial here. I did add on the way, and that is really a terrific, terrific trade. HBI, I'm thinking about adding another 2,000 shares. 
As you can see here, it didn't really... Okay, now, now it's coming. Look at the sellers, look at the sellers, look at the sellers 21. It's just about to break down. And I will add now. Just broke down under 20. That was a very strong support level, the 20 mark. Now, if you remember, I shorted it right here, and it didn't really do much. And here we go, and here we go. It's just consolidated, but again, the stock is down 14%. It doesn't really has much of a choice. Here comes a $19. That may be trouble. That's a whole number, but we're under. Good. Good. Doesn't usually happen. Sometimes you get uh, very strong support at all numbers. That time, I didn't see any support, which is a good sign. Well, again, the stock is down 14%. Just think about the poor people who, who bought it in the recent days, weeks, months. They're just looking for one thing. The first thing they're looking is to average down their losses. That's why it moved up. And then come some wise guys trying to buy it as it's down. And thinking that uh, stock is down 14%, they could, um, they could probably make a profit, which is usually wrong. Not always, but usually. Usually is good enough. I mean, when you get more than 50% uh, chance to make your money, then that's good enough. So all of these uh, efforts to move the stock up failed. As should happen when the stock is down 14, now 15%. I'm getting ready for my partial because I can see the volume growing. Look at the volume growing. Volume is growing. Look at the, at the time and sell. Look how the time and sell starts running here. That means that the sellers are pushing, and that means the opposite, meaning there's a lot of push from the seller size, side, then it's going to bounce real soon. It's going to bounce real soon. You see, volume is getting slowed now. I'm getting ready to take my partial. There was a big pressure by the sellers. Now it slows, and now we're going to see pullback. Now I'm taking my partial. You could see the volume declines, the only way to see it is by watching the time and sell. If you're trying to watch it here, right here underneath the chart, you can see that there's a high volume bar here, but it's, it's, you only see it after. It's too late to see there. So you should be watching the time and sell, and then you get a good idea of uh, where it's going to pull back up. So I got myself a nice partial in HBI, and I did add earlier, so I'm having a great trade. Baidu. I'm going to short it right here. Now, I'm short. Uh, very small size. It's a big, big mover. And I'm not sure about uh, Baidu's way. You see, it's uptrending. And she comes. So I'm going to take a very quick partial here. Okay. It's moving. It's moving. About to take my partial. Then it pulled back. So far it looks good. Taking now. I've seen this small bottoming tail here. Just pushed up a little bit. Well, actually, I made a mistake. I moved out of everything. I'm out of Baidu. Well, okay. That was a nice trade. Small size, just made around $1,000. I just asked my trading room member to write down how they're doing. So let's uh, take a good look at that. Guys, we're only trading for 30 minutes now. Look at the numbers here. Don just made $120, $1,200, $700. Well, we've got some people who are down, $1,700 up, $7,000, really? Wow. Okay, look at the numbers here. That's what traders can make in just 30 minutes. They're not all green. As you can see, some people here are red. But look at the numbers, $800, $1,200. We all trade together. You can see all of my picks here on the right side. Every trade I take is posted in the room before I take it. And then we trade it together. Well, some of them, you choose whichever you want to join. And then we just trade them together. Try to have, um, try to have a good day. 
uh, I just uh, ask them to click and show us uh, if they're green, very green, red, or very red, and uh, look at the results here. We've got over 80% in green territory. We've got 83% or so right now. So again, that's our trading day. Just join us for a free 14-day trial. And I'm having a really good trading day, but uh, the best is to come. My daughter's getting married today, <laughs> so I'm just living to the wedding now. So I just had uh, four trades, Akamai, Baidu, Cake, and HBI. I don't usually have uh, four out of four, like uh, 100%. But uh, this is a special date to me, as I just mentioned. So I'm, I'm very glad to be up $7,300. And again, just 29 minutes into the trading day. What an amazing day. Thank you for watching our video. The material was taken from The Market Whisperer, my Amazon best-selling book. This essential guide to stock trading is ideal for those with no background or experience in stock trading. Click here to read the 200 page part 1 of this book absolutely free. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.